so we are just cutting into it. We're not going to do no fancy intro or anything like that. So we're actually um, on filming the, on the day, day of the pageant, day, day two, two, just because yesterday was so hectic. So I'm kind of a tard and thought that the pageant was at Great Wolf Lodge. That's butterfly kisses. Not where it was back in February and where I don't know I just associate dazzling beauties butterfly kiss as well no I had three disappointed kids because we were not going to Great Wolf Lodge <laughs> had all of our swim stuff packed and then came down the road about 15 minutes to Fort Worth to where the pageant is actually being held which is just I mean it's a nice hotel but it's just a regular hotel you know indoor pool nothing special basically that was a little disappointing so I'm doing something a little different with this vlog just because am I hurting you yes be still <laughs> since the girls are not really competing um, they're just helping out the royalty and stuff technically they're not even royalty this weekend they were royalty last year but they're still pretty much doing everything that, you know, they did as far as helping goes. They didn't have all the royalty come back and show up. So Hattie and Taylor are backstage helping with that. And of course I'm vlogging and doing a little bit of social media work for the directors just to kind of help promote their pageant um, and just show you guys the behind the scenes of what really goes on at pageants, you know, as far as the backstage area, the hair and makeup room, and I'm also gonna be just focusing on a couple of kids. I'm showing a lot of different kids, of course, on stage, but there's a few kids I'm gonna follow in this vlog. They are all little firecrackers on stage. They do an amazing job, so I can't wait for you to see them. And then we'll also follow um, all the crowning um, updates and all the pageant videos will be linked down below. So we're fixing to go back downstairs to um, help. Taylor was just whining about how frizzy her hair was. It was just humid. It's very humid in this hotel. And it makes my hair look longer. <sighs> she does not like natural color. But anyway, so we're going to uh, cut right into the pageant. It starts out Friday night, which is technically last night. We're just going to cut it right into there and then just follow all the way along. Before the vlog gets going, I just wanted to introduce the directors of Dazzling Beauties and they also host the System of Butterfly Kisses, which I've done vlogs on. Their names are Beverly and Valerie and they are amazing ladies. And then we have the beautiful Christina Ellis. She is Hattie's coach. She coaches the Supreme Team and is also a fabulous MC for a lot of pageants out there. She's been around this business since she was just a little baby, you guys, and I absolutely love her. So now we're just going to jump right into the pageant weekend. This is the hotel we are at in Fort Worth. I just wanted to give you all a little preview of the stage and check all the backstage um, items out as far as the crowns and sashes and awards go. And then we'll jump right into meeting the girls that I'm following. guessing these are probably the ultimates, the bigger titles, crowns, and it looks like they light up too. Let's see if I can get it to light up. Yeah, they light up. And crowns. Pretty. Extra sashes here. More sashes. Did y'all find a way in? Did you use a card? It is loose. You want to show me some of the props? Got a bunch of cute little props for the photo booth. Nice, naughty, or not naughty. No. Okay guys, so meet Kaylee. She is from California. She has only been doing pageants for two years and she is an absolute fireball on stage, you guys. She has won a lot of big titles for only being in this pageant you know, world for two years. It's absolutely amazing. And her personality is just Oh my gosh, you'll see it, you'll see it. She coaches with Rochelle's Dream Team, which is you know a team that's mostly based in California. They're amazing models, you guys, and her coach, um, Leilani, who is also a part of the Dream Team, she's like underneath Rochelle, which is the blonde you see right here. You might have remembered her from my Dazzling Bees vlog last year. Perfect.
never get tired of watching that. She is amazing. If you want to see the rest of that, go to my last vlog last year in July on Dazzling Beauty. I can't wait for you to see Kaylee, but let's start with the Friday night events. Now you're going to find that I'm going to be cutting a lot of people's routines. You will not see the full routine of the contestants. That's just because it helps with the privacy of people copying their routines. They work very hard on them. And so I don't get flagged for music in the background like I have on my other vlogs. So I will be inserting music and that's just that. So let's go right into it. Now I want you guys to meet Piper. Piper is a beautiful, spunky, sassy three-year-old. She is absolutely amazing on stage. I mean, it's crazy how well she does for only being three. I mean, most three-year-olds are still watching their moms and they don't know their routines, but Piper, she's got them down. Now Piper coaches with Alicia who owns Perfection Studios. You may notice her. She had her own show, her own cheer show on TV. But let's jump right in and you're going to watch Piper rock the stage. Up next she is contestant number 50. Here is Piper contestant number 50. program book for Dazzling Beauties. They have little contests where they do like for front and back photo winners. Here's Kaylee, the girl that I am following this weekend. She won the back cover. This is a girl named Landry Baker. Wait, let me see. You can see in just a little bit. Let me show them real quick. Then the inside front cover. So other pageants put their, you know, flyers in here to kind of advertise in the program books. So let me just shuffle through here. Oh, there's Stella. She's really good. And then here are the royalty, the girls that won big titles last year. This is Gianna. So they usually put in little letters that they write about, you know, their experience. So there's Miss Hallie. A lot of people know who that is. She coaches on Cambry's Court. And then here's all the contestants. So it'll show you in the 0 to 11, they break it down into age groups, 12 to 23, two year, three year. There's a cute little girl, Piper. We're showing a little bit of, um, there's a bunch of good girls, five year, who else? I think Phoebe, I don't know if Phoebe's in there though. Oh, Phoebe, that's another one that we'll show. And then Kaylee, she's in seven to eight. Where is, there's Kaylee. Oh my gosh, look at her picture. Super pretty. Seven to eight, nine to 10, uh, 11 to 12, 13 to 15. And then they should just have a 16, yeah, 16 and up category. And then they've got a couple boys entered this year. So yeah, that's just a little program book and they're about to start. I want you guys to meet the beautiful Phoebe. I love watching this girl on stage. Phoebe is a little bit different in a sense that she does not even have a coach. Her mother does all the coaching, which you don't hear a lot of people doing. A lot of people pay for coaches with good reason, but her mom's pretty awesome. She also makes all her clothes. She designs comp cards. She even designed Taylor and Hattie's comp card a while back. She's been competing in pageants since she was a little baby. Her mom said she's been in like 80 pageants, so I can't wait for you guys to see her. She is 87. Here is Phoebe, 87.
for Judging Sears Lila 94. Sit down. We're going to welcome from our 13 to 15 
age category. Judges, she is 130. Here is Alexis. 130. Woo! Meet Alexis, you guys. She is a beautiful 15 year old and she has been doing pageants for about seven years. Her mother said she coaches on Cambry's court with Taylee. So we are very good friends with her parents. We love these guys. And if you don't know who Cambry's court is, she does have her own YouTube channel. She is a pageant coach. She is a gorgeous model, fabulous photographer. Go on and on about her, but let's get back to Alexis and watch her go. Category. She is 105. Here is Kaylee. 105. done filming tonight um, they just did the sorry I don't know if you can hear me it's really loud um, the OOC jackpot event and then they did OOC number two and then talent so that was the Friday night event sorry I keep looking here and I need to look I'm just down here letting the girls swim um, I am actually trying to get copyright strikes off my YouTube on my laptop <laughs> as you can see right now on our first pageant vlog, um, they're very strict on music in the background. So that's what I'm doing right now. Then we're gonna go to bed. And then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early and film a couple of the girls that I filmed tonight. And uh, yeah, so that's all, that's all for tonight.
gonna get gummy bears. I'm gonna get gummy bears and M Ms and that. I've been doing the backstage working. Me now too. So we're stopping <laughs> and getting some food? nutritious food to keep us going. Ty found some baseball boys to hang with instead of pageant girls. There's a huge baseball tournament going on and he said he wants to leave the pageant to go watch them. And I can't hear in the ballroom, so I'm gonna tell y'all, or they're gonna tell you what titles they won. This is Isabella, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, what title did you win last year? The, the Mega Ultimate Grand Supreme. Were you in the four to eight division? Yeah, four to eight. And then Smidgiana, what'd you win? <laughs> she won this, is it Super Mega? Super Ultimate. So I think that was just the overall was it the big title of the yes. pageant? You didn't even know, girl. You didn't even know. We got the top. And you won two thousand dollars. You won two thousand. So two thousand dollar winner right here with Isabella. Gianna won twenty five hundred, and then Miss Emerson. She was also super. Mega ultimate for two thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Hey, did y'all get to spend your money? <laughs> Oh, you saved it. That's good. That's good. I need to spend it on another package. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so you want to spend your money. You want to spend your money going to a different pageant. Yeah, instead of toys, because you probably have tons, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's straightening my hair because it looks like a rat's nest. She has natural curly hair. And she does not like that. What do you call my um, flat iron? <laughs> a straightener iron. Straightener iron. Straightener iron. She called it a straightener iron or straightener <laughs> iron or something like that. And She's I was burning. just dying. It's called a straightener or flat iron. I just don't like beauty hair. It's just poop. She don't like the poofy? No. You like the flat against your head. I like the head. flat. The straightener kind of. Like, like this. Yeah. I like this color. Add um, nail technician to the list of my duties now. Hair, makeup, nails. I wear many hats. So we always get a lot of questions on Taylee and why she's not competing. I swear every single time we do a vlog or even just at the pageants, people are asking what's going on. So we technically, I guess, haven't really quit. I wouldn't say quit with Taylee. Um, she still has some of her outfits and stuff, uh, but she's doing, obviously, most people know she's doing competitive cheer right now. And when you do competitive cheer, there is no time. It is very hard to do pageants too. Just because say, um, you plan to enter a pageant one weekend, you pay your deposit, which is not cheap, and deposit for the hair and makeup, and then come find out, hey, um, we're having cheer practice on Saturday or Sunday, and it's mandatory because it's competitive cheer. Uh, you can't really tell the cheer coaches, hey, we're doing a pageant because no, it's a commitment when you do competitive cheer. So I told Taylor there's just not really any way to do both. We've spent so much time and money for her to do competitive cheer that she's going to have to stick with that. Maybe, you know, in a couple of years, maybe next year, who knows if she's done doing cheer. Are you done doing cheer? No. What? I mean, I have done pageants way longer than cheers. So. so it's hard to just like totally just, bye. it's hard to just say bye and totally like walk give away. it up and walk away. So at least she still can come help, see her friends, cheer her friends on. But that's just the, the story of that. We're just gonna go back to the pageant and jump right back into the vlog. <laughs> Your age category. Here is Piper, contestant number 15. Good with makeup? Yeah. Yeah. Good with the auntie. She likes to give me. She likes to make me laugh. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh. 
So, Kaylee, are you going to wear your hair up or down? Uh, up. Up? Like in a wiglet? Uh, yeah. Or bun? I don't know if I'm going to turn that hair. I don't know if I'm going to turn that hair. Of course. You need glasses, too. You need glasses. Yeah, let's wait right there. Now, this is Kaylee's cousin, Michael. Michael is big into the pageant world. This is pretty much his job. He makes custom music for all the girls routines he makes comp cards he makes banners mm -hmm. photo backers kind of like what these are pictured right here i mean he makes anything and everything and he's also very hands-on with kaylee as you'll see it's so hard to film in the ballroom right now because my videos keep getting flagged for copyright like oh, with the music in the background right. like it's just very for faint that. and mm -hmm. they're even worse now so, so like five seconds of a song they'll get flagged and demonetized and yes and Let's see if you can tease this a little bit more stiff. He looks so pretty. Well, Just the edge of it, not the top part of it. Okay. The rest of it looks good though. Don't Kaylee, do you understand what they're saying? Do you speak Spanish? <laughs> you do? Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 you say that again? Yo quiero dinero. And what does that mean? Money! <laughs> <laughs> I like he's like the jack of all trades over here. Oh. Look at him go. Has, control issues, that's what it is. Major control issues. <laughs> We're gonna include this flipper business here. Oh, yours aren't bad, girl. Don't be afraid. <laughs> well, maybe not like that. <laughs> Too many to count. It's falling off on stage. One time it didn't fit and we went on with that one. We just have one. <laughs> Hot Kaylee. <laughs> so even if it fits her perfectly, we always glue it in. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Yeah, because it fell off on stage last time. Like in the middle of her routine? In the middle of her routine. She was doing her routine and she had to guess. spit it out, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, that's, that's a pro she right there. And then she won Swim Supreme at that time. Yeah. Sweet. So, I, I remember that. It was a six and up overall swim. Yeah. Oh. Bite me. I always win. Oh, you always win somewhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. All right. You good? Is it? All right. Show your food. That's nice. Let me see. Can you wiggle it? Oh, how do you pull it? Hey, if you pull it, you can get some money from the Tooth Fairy and go buy you one of those um, American Doll outfits. Nope, because he ain't bringing you nothing but a dollar. <laughs> so we're waiting on Six and Up to go on stage, and Taylee's getting all the stuff ready to pass out. As they come off, they get a t-shirt. Um, Taylee's realizing how much work all the backstage stuff is. Yeah, this is what I do every time you rain. When you're technically supposed to be back here helping, you're out there playing. Yes, baby. And Hattie just lost her tooth. She just pulled a tooth. No, no, I didn't. You didn't? I, I was wiggling it and it got stuck right here you know and it mean? fell out. Well, <laughs> Mommy, pull it. And usually she's a big drama queen with pulling teeth. So I'm glad you did it yourself and not us. Oh, so pretty. Is red your favorite color? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, do a little spin for me. Let me see the bat. Now mom makes your clothes, right? Not this one. Not this Everything one. Everything else you see this weekend. So but you made I don't that. mess around with the glitz dress. <laughs> Look at her. She's still going. You're such a pro. <laughs> Charissa Buckley. Oh, yes. She made Taylor's dress. Oh, get a girl. <laughs> oh, she just slides it right in there. Oh, my gosh. I love her. I love her. opportunity, but I'm going to need your help out there. Our audience, from our loving audience, put your hands together as we bring our six-year age category to the stage. Girls, welcome to Dazzling Beauties Christmas in July. 